a lot of people ask us like kind of what our processes are. And, you know, I have about, um, 300 stocks and probably a hundred ETFs on my main fact set page. And, um, you know, that I kind of stare at all day long. I have them separated by, uh, sector. So I kind of see it as a bit of a heat map and I'm just kind of looking at the news and, you know, like one name as I was scrolling through some charts this morning and I like to look at charts also, um, was square. And I thought this thing was kind of interesting guy. Um, you know, it had this nice ramp from $60, um, to, to basically almost $90. Okay. In the start of February, look at this kind of like downtrend that's been a series of kind of lower highs and lower lows. And um, I always find when those things match up so perfectly the way like this one has, and you look at what that 200 day moving average is, it's down, you know, I don't know, maybe like another 10% or something from here. Um, this one kind of like looks kind of vulnerable to me. It doesn't have a great um, valuation in my opinion, in this environment, when you're especially thinking about some of these kind of, um, FinTech models or whatever, I prefer PayPal. I've made that uh, point on numerous occasions. Thought, thoughts here. I'm just curious. Like, again, this is just a chart. It's uh, a, a couple months here that we're really focused on here, but like, it doesn't look like something you want to buy right here. No. Right. And you know, I'm not going to put my Dan Nathan hat on or my OA hat on, but something like this. And I listen, I do not know what the volatility is, yeah. uh, in, in square. So I can't speak that intelligently, but Assuming that it's reasonable, a put spread here would make a whole lot of sense in terms of the risk reward. So yeah. that to me is the setup. You know, these are the types of setups you've been waiting for and look for. So market gives you ample opportunity, but just eyeballing this, you know, some sort of put spread, and it probably comes in a form of like, I don't know, 65, 60. You probably have the levels better than I do. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, with a stock 70, 65, something like that. 70, 70, 60. If you want to look like to May expiration, I'll just do this on the fly. Stocks at 74 bucks right here. Okay. And I would look slightly out of the money. So the 70 put in May, all right, would cost you about uh, 575. And if I want to look down to, let's say, the 55 put in May, okay, is $1.75. So 575 less 175, it gives you four box okay so that's 15 wide cost four make up to 11 that's an okay risk reward because if you're paying four on 70 the break even is down there um at 66 so you would have gains uh between 66 and 55 up to 11 bucks it's okay i like to leg into the some of those sometimes mm -hmm. guys like i'll buy the long strike and then if it starts going in my direction and gets in the money then i'll sell it further down strike. Right? 